Good morning, good morning to you and happy Tuesday. Yes, I hope that you enjoyed Labor Day yesterday. I trust that you weren't working even I, uh, the ultimate workaholic here, took, uh, took um, at most of yesterday, at least the afternoon off, uh, went berry, berry picking, <laughs> blackberry picking. It's the season here where I live for that. And it was very nice to just kind of get away from the office and I hope that whatever you did yesterday to celebrate Labor Day, uh, even if you just kicked back and slept, sometimes that's all we need to do is a little bit of self-care. Hmm? So now here we are Tuesday, it's gonna feel a little weird like a where did Monday go, but just remember this is a short week. So let's enjoy it together, shall we? Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com, also known as Your Thought Organizer. And what do I do? I help entrepreneurs and all y'all to declutter their space and brain so that they can focus on being profitably productive, getting the right things done. Yes, not just the busy work, not the busy work at all, the right things done. And that is key to how you're going to finish your year, which is what we're talking about this week is Q4 in business terms is looming. I, I divide my year into threes, just makes it, it, it just makes the transition easier. And no matter how you do it, the year end is coming. And if clutter has accumulated since the spring, which is bound to uh, over the summer, it may be difficult to focus on, this, on the steps to your successful year end. So this week, we're just looking at a guide to the essential areas to quickly declutter so that you can clear your mind and finish the year crushing those goals that you have. This week is not intended as a full declutter, mind you, okay, so don't panic. It's just a refreshing, just a, just a little pick-me-up. Now, yesterday we talked about uh, clearing floors, which clients always kind of, new clients, they always kind of look at me funny and say, well, shouldn't I do my desk or the kitchen counter or whatever? No. Try doing the floor first, and you will feel an instant boost of energy. Yes, you will. Um, now, if you're looking at your floors, especially maybe in one particular room, just clear a path. Michael knows what, what we're going to say here. Clear a path from the door to the window of that room. Even if it's only just a path that you can walk on, clear a path and I guarantee you, you will feel a, a, a kind of an unexpected boost of energy. And that is just metaphysical, whether you like feng shui or not, just the flow of air moving. You can't see it, but I tell you, if you don't have air, you know what's, you, you, you notice it. All right, now today, come in abundance. Now the entrance is the first thing you see when you come home, last thing you see when you, when you leave the house to go to work, if you're able, or the grocery store, or whatever. And it just kind of puts a pall on your brain. When you when you leave, you're thinking, I should get to this. When you come home, oh goodness, oof, I didn't get, I, I, I can't live like this. <laughs> All right, so you feel defeated already. Now, you don't want that. You don't need that. You're better than that. You deserve better than that. So what we what you want to do is pick up the there may be shoes that have accumulated that well I'll hang I'll I'll put them in the shoe bag later or in the closet later or coats or McDonald cups or or what have you. Uh, there was no endorsement there, by the way. Uh, anything, any of these little things that tend to be accumulate as kind of a drop zone. Now, if you have a drop zone at your front entrance, good for you. If it's kind of contained on a little bench, a couple, a couple of my clients have that, then that that's a wonderful thing. But you, you want to declutter that too. And my clients are always amazed. Wow, what a difference. And usually, if it's the woman who's, who's the client, the husband just goes, whoa, 
He doesn't even look at the rest of the house. He just sees the entrance and goes, yes. So, so ladies, hmm. okay, draw your own conclusions. All right, until tomorrow when we talk about Dream Big. Again, we're talking Q4 here. Um, what do I want to say? Yes, uh, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. The link is down below. I'd be honored if uh, there's a link and when you download this that you can um, reserve a quick and free, quick and no cost call to um, see if we can help you. I know you can declutter yourself, but wouldn't you love to do to do it faster than you ever thought possible so you can get on with your life? I know you would. All right, till tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.